guys welcome back to the channel um, it's been a hot minute uh, sorry for the long silence I'm very aware it's uh, it's been Christmas <laughs> since we last posted on here um, but as you can see from this video we have moved house um, so yeah we are we've been very very busy uh, setting everything up but we do have a new coffee station but that is going to be revealed in this video you've got a little sneak peek behind there but yeah we are going to walk through setting up a new coffee station in the new house so let's go and have a look hello we are back we have moved all of our stuff in um it's a little bit crazy as you can see there's boxes everywhere as it is with moving you never know where you're going to put things until you get all your furniture and because we're buying mostly sort of new furniture now um we yeah we haven't unpacked a lot of stuff yet um here's our table and chairs at least we have somewhere to sit and enjoy a coffee um yeah there is currently no internet until next week that's that's great um surviving somehow uh so yeah basically what we need to do we've got this over here i think is going to be the coffee setup and then the sofa and tv is the plan uh, but we need to decide on what coffee setup we're getting um, because I don't know. I've left the old one at the old place. It's just going to be donated or something um, and we're just going to start again. And we are, yeah, starting afresh with a lot of our furniture. Hence why, you know, it's all woo, a bit everywhere. So we need to go to Ikea. For now, this is my home coffee setup. <laughs> Uh, I've got the arrow presses there, got my grinder, got my scales, and uh, yeah. Good afternoon, we are in sunny Bristol and we are going to IKEA! We are going to go and look for a new coffee setup for the new house. Let's go have a look. <laughs> And look at this for a setup. I'm thinking espresso machine on here. Um, it's got some places that you can hang some milk pitchers, uh, bits like that. I love it. So look at this wooden countertop. It's absolutely stunning. Rhubarb goals, dame. Oh my word! Look at this beast. It is absolutely humongous and it's got this absolutely gorgeous wooden top again. Massive! And it's got the little racking at the top so that I can hang things from. Oh, it's a bit more expensive though. Mm, too many decisions. So we have found this one which is lovely. Um, I think you buy the countertop separate to put your own on, but it's got lots of storage. And you can get some cupboard doors too. Um, but I do need to address one issue. What is this? What is this? I will not be having a coffee today, thank you. These are cute. We have made it to the lamp section. Look at this beauty. That would look so nice next to the coffee setup. So I'm considering something like that too. Really like that one. Oh, we've got this beauty with some gold accents going on. Say gold, more brass. Really nice. We are back. We have finished it, we've done it. We've finished the coffee setup um, and I think it looks amazing. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Uh, it's been a hot minute since I've posted on YouTube, so for that I apologize, but it has been a manic few months here. 
uh, but we are all moved we are all settled in almost finished unpacking those boxes um, but we'll get there uh, but the priority was of course the coffee setup which I'm going to show you guys now so let's jump into some b-roll and then I'll walk you through what we've got on the setup Okay, so starting off with the main sort of unit of the setup. So as you know, we went to IKEA, um, and I really liked. I ended up really liking these um, like metal shelving units that you could pick your own countertop for. So I got two of those. I can't remember off the top of my head what they're called, but I will link them below. Um, and then this beautiful wooden countertop, which I think looks absolutely stunning on the setup. Um, so yeah, that, that was the main kind of um, big decision for the coffee setup, um, but I think it looks absolutely stunning. So then going over to equipment that we have on here, I've got the lovely Gadget of Ruby as you've seen before, and I've just popped some house plants behind there for photography purposes, it looks quite nice. We've got the two grinders, so the Gadget grinder, the Baratza Vachoso Plus, great little grinder. Um, and something that I wanted to do was feature more of my pour overs. So I've got the AeroPress, I've got the Origami, the Aurea, and the Kalita Wave 155. Um, and I bought little uh, servers for each of them. They're all Kinto ones, different sizes and styles. They're really, really nice. And then going over to a very exciting piece, which I've been wanting for so long. It's the Fellow Stag uh, Kettle and it's temperature controlled and it can hold your temperature so you can go off and do other things um, and your water will stay the right temperature and I did upgrade the handle to the walnut handles which I think absolutely just well oh, it makes it so pretty so I absolutely love that and then this lovely company Ancom um, actually sent me one of their vacuum bean canisters which is so good um, so yeah it keeps basically your coffee fresh for a long time and upon testing this I've had a new bag of coffee in there for about three weeks and it smells and tastes exactly like day one so very impressed with that they have a variety of different colors and styles so check them out if you want to have a look at that they were nice enough to send that over to me to give it a little trial um, so yeah that's kind of the main bits there we've got a new set of scales also um, so these are the Time More Black Mirror Scales, really really nice to use, really enjoying these. That's another new little piece there. So moving down to the shelving units, um, so at the back here we've got an IKEA pegboard which I thought would be really cool to use for um, filter paper so you can attach different like fittings to it. So here I've got um, the different size Kalita filters and the AeroPress filters are just in one of those little shelving units. And then I've used elastic bands to um, basically hook the Camex and V60 papers on. And I think that works really well. Uh, it keeps them all in one place because I just found it really stressful having boxes of different filters and I couldn't find them half the time on the old setup. So I really like that. Um, and then in terms of like cup organization i got these little wooden trays with like little four little compartments which i think the wood looks stunning um and it just keeps everything really nice and organized um i got this from tk max and then they also had them in home sense as well uh they're really nice and then i've got some new cups Woo! these are the kinto um i think they're called like pebble cup and saucer set um, but they're really nice for espresso or filter brews uh, and they're a really nice little size as well so I love those. Moving down I've got obviously essentials, coffee books, um, I'm not a barista brewing card deck 
And then here I've just got a little tray to organize all of my cupping stuff, uh, my spoons, and also a little scoop that came with the um, vacuum canister, which is really cool. So moving on to the second set of shelves here, uh, I have still got a little bit of cable management just to do up at that back bit there, but that's not an issue. Um, so again, I've gone for the Ikea wood um, like boxes. So I found this really nice apple box, which houses my coffee bean selection. And then another little tray just to keep like the old AeroPress and like uh, spare grinders and bits and bobs like that that I don't really use that much to be fair but it's uh, handy to have and then down below we've got a whiskey shelf actually um, which yeah if you don't know I'm really really into my whiskies um, so yeah for why not have a few glasses and the selection just down on my bottom shelf because I didn't really have any use for the bottom shelf to be honest um, so yeah on the subject of cable management, um, so this is how I've done things. I've basically got an extension lead for all my grinders up there. Um, and then I just got one of these cable organizer boxes and put the extension lead and the cables in. Um, and then it just try like it keeps everything quite neat. So I'll obviously sort of tuck these away a little bit more. Um, but yeah, it just stops loads of cables hanging around everywhere and it's a really cheap solution. And then we just use like 3M tape to tape it onto the top of this uh, desktop here. So I think that looks really, really nice. And actually when you step back, you can't really, you don't really notice it, but it kind of fits in with the black uh, vibe. So yeah, went with that. And then of course here I've got my I'm not a barista brewing card deck, um, like printed sheet of every single recipe. Um, which is really nice and a really important piece for my setup because my recipe is on there um, and it's just a reminder of yeah all of the cool people in the coffee world um, so yeah I think that looks really nice just sort of placed behind there actually um, and then of course no setup will be complete without house plants obviously so I've got my little pachira tree um, who kind of sits on the side and I think he just looks really really nice especially for photography um, and yeah that is kind of it for the setup let me know what you guys think um, I am absolutely in love with it um, I think it looks really really lovely and I'm so happy it's nice to have a lot more counter space whereas my old setup was very small so by the time we had the espresso machine on there there wasn't a lot of room to like actually brew coffee so that we've got all this space now which is amazing um, and then the storage underneath is way better than the drawer unit that I used to have it just means that everything's organized and I can find things like straight away as opposed to trying to fumble around in drawers and boxes and find things um, I can see what I have now and like, everything just is just so much nicer to use so yeah so there we have it that is the coffee setup tour i hope you enjoyed um, i hope you enjoyed coming along to ikea with me and seeing the choosing process of everything and um yeah i hope you you like it as much as i do because i am super happy with the setup uh there's plenty more videos on the way um so we've got some reviews of the kettle and the scales bits and bobs like that so I will not be as silent um, <laughs> and uh, for now guys I will see you in the next video and uh, have a good week. Mm -hmm.